Becca, what do you think you can do? You are like four foot eight. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. How the heck are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Today is gonna be really fun because we're watching Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect came out in 2012. So I was like 18, 19 when this came out. I thought it was revolutionary. I thought that it was the funniest thing I had ever seen. If y'all have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I am a... <laughs> Oh God, my brain. I was gonna say I'm a slut for harmonies. There's not really another good way to describe it. So I'm just gonna go with that. I love a good harmony. And this is about acapella music. So this is gonna be great. Enough talking. Let's just watch it, damn it. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Please don't stop the, please don't stop the, please don't stop the music. Oh my God. I forgot it started like this. I, wanna take you away. Let's escape I would be screaming in the audience. Can't refuse. That's so cool. I'm having a good time already. This is fun. You girls are awesome. We horrible. I hate you. Kill yourselves. Girl power. Sisters and Oh my God. That reminds me of when I was in seventh grade. We learned what sarcasm was, but we thought sarcasm was being brutally mean to each other and then saying, just kidding or not. <laughs> like, wow, that was such a great performance. Not. That was just like the peak of mature comedy. Like, that's a zinger. You got him, 13-year-old Hannah. Oh my God. This is seared in my brain. Do we just take a left turn in a snoozeville? Yeah, and we it is a bit boring, but she sounds great. I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Oh no! Holy! I forgot about that part. <laughs> Damn it! I was just enjoying it. <sighs> Oh man, it caught me off guard. Uh, I need a drink. What a coincidence. This video is sponsored by Bright Cellars. Cheers. Bright Cellars is a wine subscription box that is about to change your life. Face it, you don't know anything about wine. No, 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 don't tell me. I already know. You are an, a wine dunce. You don't know anything, stupid idiot. <laughs> All I knew about wine before I found Bright Cellars was that sometimes it was good. Most of the time it was bad, but Bright Cellars came in and changed my life. In your box, every wine comes with a wine education card. You don't have to just say, I like this one. I don't know why. Uh? You can learn about what you like and what to pair it with. Before Bright Cellars, I always gravitated towards white wines or a rosé. But now there are actually reds that I enjoy. And now I know what they're called. Excuse me. That was a big sip. Oh, but it is good. But why do you need to try Bright Cellars? There's a really easy quiz you take on their website. It's just seven questions and you will get sent a box that was curated for your palate. So there are wines you're guaranteed to like. And if you don't like them, they're gonna send you a replacement bottle in your next box. Did I mention that the packaging is completely sustainable, plastic free and has a small carbon footprint? Bright Cellars, you're too much. Real Talk sponsors make it possible for me to keep making videos. You guys know the copyright system is on my ass all the time. So thank you, Bright Sellers, for sponsoring this video. And it gets even better. Bright Sellers is giving my followers a limited time offer of 50% off your first six bottle box. <laughs> Click the link in the description to get started. Oh my God, she's wearing black nail polish, so you know she's edgy. <laughs> <laughs> I love a goofy guy, so I remember watching that and being like, I love that. How did you get here? Took a cab. Hmm. Didn't want to inconvenience you and Sheila. I was the step monster. How is the step monster? Becca, are you nine? Come on. <laughs> Chill, Becca. Okay, we get it. You're edgy. Dad, I don't actually care. I just wanted to say step monster. Even edgier. You wanna see you whip it so good. Oh my god. I have never noticed the guy on the unicycle. <laughs> wow, he is getting into it. How's your voice? We both are here to have the soul let it whip. Okay, he does have a really great voice, but can you imagine someone saying like, how's your voice? Or like, can you sing? And then you just, without saying anything, you just belt out a note. Ah! It's a little cocky. I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, you know, like a one word, like good would have sufficed. Can you match pitch? 
Try me. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I feel like we know we're going off pitch a little bit, but we're gonna talk about why. Uh, uh. Do you see how Brittany Snow, the redhead, sings ah, uh, and Amy comes in and sings ah uh, with an uh vowel that's causing her to actually go a little sharp. Uh. That's not so bad. Then right here, then we start to get off pitch a little bit. And she's squeezing a little bit. But if she just dropped her jaw and made it more of an ah versus an ah, ah, it would have felt better and she would have been able to stay on pitch. But also I know that this is just a joke. <laughs> it's just funny. It's just comedy, but I still wanted to talk about it. What's your name? Fat Amy. Um, you call yourself Fat Amy? Yeah, so twig is like, you don't do it behind my back. Okay, I have thoughts about Fat Amy. I don't like calling her Fat Amy. First, I'm like, okay, I like that she says, I do it so you can't do it behind my back. But also, they call her that, the whole, like, trilogy. They wrote that. I hate that she's always getting stuck in that, that character. Sorry, it just, it's pretty lame. Ak, excuse me? Ak, excuse me? Synchronized lady dancing to a Mariah Carey chart topper is not lame. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's lame, but it's also, like, not cool. I would just say it's, it's very fruity. <laughs> But like, what is cool anyway? You know what I mean? Do what makes you happy. Nerd out about something. Be passionate about something. Hi. <laughs> He's so little. He looks very age appropriate here in that he looks 19 here, 10 years ago. And now, 10 years later, he looks very age appropriate to what he is a man in his 30s. Some of you might be confused, but if you know, you know. The girls and gays, they get it. <laughs> get it? <laughs> I'm not leaving here until you sing. That's coercive. Fire away, fire away. Shoot me down, but I They sound really pretty together. I am Titania. Hi, my name is Cynthia Rose. Oh, not a dude. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> okay, hold on. I know something about her. Esther Dean. She's actually like a singer-songwriter. She's written a ton of songs. Oh my God. Look at all of this. Yeah. Okay. So she's amazing. And I did know that. This part though. Why are they starting with zoom, 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 zoom. It's just so strange. Okay. And then Ben comes in. He's giving it some structure. Yeah. It was all pretend. And yeah, yeah. That's me. I get way too emotional during songs. If I'm talking about heartbreak, I am feeling heartbreak. Wasn't long until I called you my mind. mind. I really remember this movie a lot more than I thought I would. So you never hear me say yes. Da, da, da. <laughs> Hi. I can't breathe. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're gonna pause. Go back. So, so you never hear me say, hear me say, listen to whatever his name is because I cannot remember names. This will never change. Don't ask me to change. So you never this guy. Hear me say, he's getting up into a really great part of his voice. It's getting into mixing territory and it has so much depth. Like it's very comfortable for him. They kept it in the original key because all of these different ranges of singers are singing. But Amy really does a good job here. Like you can tell that Amy is really playing it up for the comedy, but she actually has a really great voice. The fact that she's able to sing since you've been gone in such a really strong mixy belt, that is really amazing. I've only ever heard Rebel Wilson sing in Pitch Perfect. And when she does, it's always like really kind of over the top for the comedic effect. So I can tell that she can sing, but I don't know if I've ever heard her sing just like singing just as her. If you guys have any links or videos of her singing, please let me know because she's got a great voice. You had your chance to blow it. Okay, hold on. This is a bang and mix. You had your chance to blow it. Out of sight. From both of them. That's amazing. Ben. Yay! Thank you. Ben Platt. Performing live gives me such a rush. <laughs> He's so adorable. 
That is everybody. I'm really not that impressed this year. Okay, maybe the people who auditioned aren't still in the room, <laughs> but could you imagine being still in the room and them saying, all right, that's everyone. Really not impressed this year. Really disappointed. <laughs> Actually, that was terrible. I can't even believe it. I'm nauseous. That was so bad. I didn't know we had to prepare that song. Oh, that's okay. Sing anything you want. Come on. You don't know Since You've Been Gone. Everybody knows Since You've Been Gone. I know this is iconic, but it is very strange why she was like, do you guys have a, a cup? If you knew you were going to sing the cup song, why didn't you bring your own cup? That's just not prepared. It's not professional. <laughs> and I'm leaving tomorrow. What do you say when I'm gone? Audrey looks pissed that she can sing. She's like, damn it. I didn't want her to be able to sing. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're getting oh, off you're beat. Gonna miss me <laughs> I'm sorry. That's where I turn mean when you get off beat. Okay, I actually have a cup here. This was not planned. Nope, it's empty. Did you guys ever play it where you would pass it around the table and it would get faster and faster and faster? That was so fun. You know, so there's like 10 of us. Mm -hmm. That means one of us is probably a lesbian. One is a lesbian? <sighs> Come on. Like, probably three. At least three. I sometimes have a feeling I can do crystal meth, but then I think, mm, better not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I know that Rebel Wilson did improvise a lot of her lines in this movie and I wonder if she improvised that because that is one of my favorite ones. The not a good enough reason to use the word penetrate. That is one of my favorites and then sometimes I have a feeling I can do crystal myth and then I think mm, better not. How's my accent? Is it good? Is it passable? All my Australian followers tell me what was what do you think? Where, how could I improve? We only do songs made famous by women. I love that. There's nothing from this century on here. Because we don't stray from tradition. Why can't they be songs made famous by women that are from this century? Then it's still, you know, girl boss power feminist Barden Bellas, but they're not singing old songs. One, two, three. Okay, we will work on that first thing next time. <laughs> that is what I look like when I'm trying to hold it together, but I'm getting like overwhelmed and anxious. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> If you ever see me doing that, you'll know that I'm about to lose it. Audrey is always about to lose it, though. She looks like she needs a break. Oh, that's fun on the ears. I know we're not performance ready. I wanted the hot fellas, not this barnyard explosion. I'm not paying for this. Oh, Let's go. That's awful. <laughs> Yeah, they sounded rough. They need a little bit of practice, but that's awful. Barnyard explosion. I don't know what that means. It sounds mean though. Don't call them that. Chloe, for serious, what is wrong with you? I have nodes. <gasps> what are nodes? They sit on your windpipe and they crush your dreams. Let's talk about vocal nodules. Because I'm a voice teacher and that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> It's when your vocal cords, there's friction and they're basically like blisters on your vocal cords. The truth is our voices are a part of our body, right? So that gives us the unique challenge as singers that our voice is prone to overuse. And if you are a professional or your job involves your voice, you push past the point of vocal fatigue. And so that's what can happen here. Definitely can be a sign of poor technique, but it isn't necessarily. Many amazing professional singers and vocalists have had vocal injuries and they did not have poor technique. But it can be a sign that maybe we're not singing in the best way that we want to be. If our technique is off and our vocal cords are heavy and coming together in a really harsh way, that can lead us to a vocal injury. Working with a teacher is really important to hopefully keep those injuries at bay. It is serious, but it isn't a career ender. It just requires vocal rest. Sometimes it requires surgery, but for the most part, they will go away with vocal rest. Are you guys getting ready for the riff off? What the hell is a riff off? The best part of this movie. Na, 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 come on, come oh my God, on, yes. I love this part. Let's talk about sex, baby. All through the night, I'll make love to you. Like you want me to. 
Okay, we have to go back to listen to that. First of all, Stacy's got a great voice. So she overplayed it at the audition. Obviously, she sounds great. But that harmony when Amy comes in, it's so great. All through the night, I'll make love to you like you want me to. And, and I guess I... that's just the woman in you that brings out the man in me. I know I can help myself. Oh, God, I love that moment. I think it's so cute. It's so sweet. Well, we have to listen to the beginning. Sorry, I got distracted by that adorable moment when he looked at her. But God, his voice. Also, what are the rules of this riff off? So he's mixing up there right now? He's got Abby collab creations, bump like acne, no doubt. I put it down, never slouch. I don't think you're supposed to start rapping, but it is fun. Shorty, get down, good lord. Woo! Baby got him open all over town. Strictly bitch, you don't play around. Cover much ground, got game by the pound. Getting paid is a forte, each and every day. I remember this moment. I like the way you work, no day. Okay, listen to the harmony on that first no diggity. No diggity. Did you hear that dissonance? I gotta bag it up. We out. <laughs> we out. Group singing is so cool. <laughs> literally think that group singing is like good for the soul and we never do it so them just singing no diggity i was like i wish i was in a choir <laughs> singing with everybody that's so fun sacapella did you guys know that i music directed avenue q a million years ago the production that i music directed is actually on youtube look it up it has a lot of views midvale main street theater i music directed that very proud of them. They just look like flight it's attendants. Enough, so Wait, are they supposed to look like flight attendants? Because they're doing this. Are they supposed to look like flight attendants and I just didn't know? Am I missing a joke? Tell me, guys. Spin my head right round, right round. Oh, that's so cool. This is a party. Okay, the low notes are pretty cool. Oh my god. Get a guy, get a guy. Let's get it on. I'm just gonna, gonna check off. Becca, what do you think you can do? You are like four foot eight. I don't need your help. You're not my boyfriend. Yikes. Best performance ever I've ever seen. Uh, oh, right. Bong Song okay. isn't his only hit. <gasps> He has an egg chair. They have an egg chair in their bus. I just got one of those for my porch and it's my favorite thing in the world. I literally have thought about bringing it in here and filming from it because I love sitting in it so much. Hey, Aww. Amy Amazon! I just love the stereotype that lesbians are hypersexual. I just love that. That's so fun. Hilarious. It's Pride Month. Welcome to the land of fame excess. Am I gonna fit in? I jumped in the cab, here I am. This is a great song. I turn my right and I see the Hollywood sign. I turn on the radio and the Jay-Z song was on. And the Jay-Z song was on. And the Jay-Z song was on. Don't be lame, Becca. So I put my hands up to play my song The butterflies fly away Nodding my head like yeah Moving my hips like yeah It's a banger My baby's always listen Wouldn't be a bad thing I don't get a love in That's no lie Oh my god, I have chills I just can't, I just can't, I just can't Control my feet so Oh my God. Okay. I remember watching that on repeat when I got the DVD of this. I feel like I actually still own the DVD of this. Who has a DVD player? Oh my God. This lead singer right here on I Just Keep, that's mixing. I just keep, I just keep, I just keep that my feet so It's so good. They should obviously win. I'm sorry. Like, how could a person like me? 
Oh, it's just boring. Oh. But Becca should not do anything crazy. I would definitely pull an Audrey and I'd be upset. I'm sorry that I messed you up, but in case you hadn't noticed, everybody pretty much dozed off during our set. It's not your job to decide what we do and when we do it. She's not wrong. Your attitude sucks. You're a grade A pain in my ass, and I know you're hooking up with Jesse. Whoa, whoa, Aubrey, calm down. We're not hooking up, I swear. Jesus Christ, that's perfect. Of course you're here right now. Oh, I don't God. need your help. Becca. Oh, she's crying. She's feeling things. Her heart is growing three times its size. I wish that you could actually have these superpowers of like creating a arrangement on the spot. Even the most talented people can't do that. I was thinking about her, thinking about me, thinking about us, and then her should be above my eyes. So it's only just a dream that she don't see what See, now they have like those low notes all of a sudden. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Is that the lowest note? I'm feeling the music, guys. That was pretty. One, two, uh. What was that? <laughs> With your messed up vocal cords, you can hit the bass notes. That would be pretty cool if you got notes and then instead of being a soprano, you were a bass, but it, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> because her vocal cords, she was a soprano, are tiny, like like this long. And a bass's vocal cords are bigger than that. So her vocal range would not expand the other way. It would just get smaller. I'm not fun to watch an acapella movie with, I guess. Womp womp. Look how cool and hip they look. But no, not anymore. I love this. They're like mimicking instruments. That is so cute. Yeah, I'm looking for some action. Yes, Jesse. I would be screaming in the audience for sure. His voice is insane. This slaps. I'll need a volunteer. How about you? I got the magic in me. Oh, the troubles. And they're so good. The troublemakers are so good. I really like the like choreography and the staging that they have because they've got clear beats to hit, but they are all like vibing with it. Does that make sense? So it's just like really fun. I mean, frick. It's just so good. I'm having so much fun. Okay, Bellas, impress me. Like took their outfits and then each made it unique to them. That's fun. Smile, everybody look to the left. Everybody look to the right. Why do they keep having Chloe sing those top notes? I'm worried about her voice. Not about the money, money, money. We don't need the money, money, money. Oh my God. I really liked that. Ain't about the, uh, that was so cute. I like how they're keeping like little parts of the old Bella style of choreography in it. And then they're also just breaking it down. Oh my God, I forgot they sang this song. <sighs> I loved that so much. She was singing, don't you forget about me. And in the back, they were singing, you're amazing just the way you are. Dead. <laughs> Chloe hitting those bass notes is so funny. They are putting a lot of songs in this mashup. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh 
Okay, well, that did something to me. That was so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> So good. <laughs> Yay! Okay, the troublemakers were good, but that was better. <laughs> I'm having a really good time. Told you, endings are the best part. You're such a weirdo. It's so cute. Oh my God. Okay. Um, wow. I was, I'm so hyped up now. Like that ending. Oh my God. It's so good. Okay. My complaints. I think that this movie was too long. This movie was two hours long. I think it probably could have cut like 15 minutes. But I, God. Oh, it's so good. I wish that we could have seen more from the Bellas after they had their transformation because that was so good and so fun. And everybody in the Bellas can sing really well. And the Troublemakers. But that one group that sang at the regionals that I want to listen to that on repeat. It was amazing. Okay, y'all. Should I watch Pitch Perfect 2? I've never actually seen that one. So if you want me to watch it, let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'm Hannah. I'm your voice teacher. Thanks again to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. Use my link in the description. Click it. You'll get 50% off your first six bottle box. Isn't that so cool? Check out my Patreon if you want to. Uh, Patreon.com slash Hannah Bales. And check out my TikTok and Instagram at Hannah.Bales. Okay, bye. <laughs>